Alright, what is up guys? In this video we're going to be installing a star nut into a new fork. And so uh, this is a very straightforward process. The only tool you really need is a quarter inch deep dish socket like this. In my case this is a 12 mil socket, but honestly you could use anything that's close to it like 11 or 13 mil or whatever this uh, other English metric is. Um, so basically you just take a socket like that. You take the part of the headset that threads into the star nut and you just drop it straight through the uh, socket. So just like that, take this guy, drop it right in there. And this particular one is a four mil, um, but these sizes obviously vary. And then we're going to be threading this guy onto that thing. And then after we've threaded this in, I will be hammering this down into place. The depth to which I will be hammering it down is uh, 15 millimeters, and you don't have to be super precise with this, but you know I've already got a fork right here that has a star nut in it, and you can just kind of see that we'll just keep on hammering this thing in until uh, it goes right down in there. So um, pretty straightforward process, and uh, obviously the, the main point here is you're just trying to hammer it in so that it's flush and perpendicular to the steerer tube because you don't want to have like a crooked screw. And so, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing, and uh, we'll see how this goes. And obviously, if you screw up that bad, <laughs> worst case scenario is you can just hammer this thing all the way down if you went too far, and then just hammer in another one because they're pretty cheap. So um, don't worry too much if you screw up. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this thing goes. I'll hook this thing up to the tripod. Got this guy in. I'm going to take the Allen key and the star nut and then thread that guy onto there. And then now we've got our little star nut press tool, homemade. Uh, and next, I'll be using some vice grips just to hold this thing in place. Hopefully without scratching this up too much. So now we've got a nice little tool to hold this. I'll put this guy up there. Hold this thing in place. And then we'll take our mallet. I hope this is showing up on camera because if it doesn't, that would suck. Move this up slightly. There we go. Put this guy right there. Mallet. Check.
There we go.